I think airbrushing is really cool, but when it clogs over and over again, it is so frustrating. I've slowly picked up a few tricks that has almost entirely prevented this. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what those tricks are. So the main trick, the main secret to preventing your airbrush from clogging is to not get dry paint in your airbrush. So <laughs> pretty big brain secret there, but I'll explain it in this video. Just have a quick breakdown of some parts of the airbrush. So you've got the, the cup where the paint goes in and then the bottom of the cup is a little hole and the paint flows down in through that hole into the main barrel where the needle is. Then at the end of that barrel, uh, there is a needle cap and the needle rests in that. And basically then when the trigger is pulled back, the needle comes back and there's a little hole that the paint can come out and then mix with the air, it sprays out. So if there's anything clogging up the needle or the barrel or the little tip there, then it's gonna cause all sorts of issues. So that's what we're trying to prevent. So my first trick that I always do now is I always put my airbrush thinner into my airbrush before the paint. So I use Army Painter Airbrush Medium, but you could use um, Airbrush Thinner or water or whatever you use. But I always put that in first so it gets down into the barrel and then the thick acrylic paint goes in and that way the paint, the thick paint doesn't go directly into the barrel. Then I'll take a brush and mix them together to thin out the paint. And I'll also use the blowback method to blow bubbles of air back into the airbrush and bubble it up and mix it up further. To do the blowback and create bubbles in the airbrush cup, all you have to do is put your finger over the nozzle and press down on the trigger and pull back. And then that will force air back into the barrel of the airbrush and it'll bubble up through the cup. If I wasn't lazy, I would probably mix the airbrush thinner and the paint separately and then pour that already thin mixture into the airbrush, but I am lazy, so I mix it in the cup. At this point, I just get airbrushing and go for gold. If I'm using a color for a long time, you know, eventually you get dry tip, which is just a little bit of dry paint getting on the end of the needle. So if that happens, all I do is take a brush and brush it off. My next trick is to do with when I'm running out of paint. So if I'm using up a paint in my airbrush and it's getting low, I always stop before the barrel gets dry. I don't let the barrel of the airbrush run out of paint. So once the paint level has gone down and it's almost empty, I always stop before the barrel and the needle get dry. And at that point, I will either add extra medium or airbrush thinner and paint, or I'll um, you know clean it out and change colors. I do this so the paint in the airbrush barrel doesn't come in contact with air and doesn't get the opportunity to dry out. So I basically make sure that there's never any air in that airbrush barrel if there's any paint in there. Now when it comes to changing the color or cleaning out the airbrush when I'm done, what I do is I take my little flush bottle full of water and I will squirt some water into the cup and basically empty it out. I'll do that a bunch of times until the majority of the paint is out. Then I'll put some more water in there, get in there with the brush and sort of brush out any extra paint that I can get. At this point, I start with the airbrush cleaner. So I use branded airbrush cleaner, but obviously there's other chemicals you can use. I just like the branded one because it's got its own little nozzle. I squirt that in and I do some blowbacks as well to bubble it all up and brush again to clean off any extra paint. The whole time I'm doing this, I never blow anything out the tip of the airbrush. I'm always pouring it out the cup or blowing it back. Now at this point, the cup is pretty clean and the airbrush seems pretty clean. What I do is I'll loosen off the needle nut and pull the needle back a little bit. What I usually find is there's a bit of paint stuck on the needle. And so I'll get in there with a the brush and wipe it all off, you know, with the mixture of the airbrush cleaner. So I just keep repeating this process, you know, a bit of water from my flush bottle, a bit of airbrush cleaner, the brush in there, clean it all off. I pull the needle out slowly and wipe the paint off it. Eventually the needle will be all the way out and then I'll just, you know, bubble through a few sets of the cleaner and water. And the whole time I never spray anything out the front of the airbrush. One of the main reasons I don't blow anything out the front of the airbrush is if there's any little dried flecks of paint that get dislodged during cleaning, 
and I spray it out the front, they could easily clog up the tip. If I always dump it out of the cup and blow back, then there's no chance of that happening during the cleaning process. Now that I've figured out these few tricks, I almost never get a clogged airbrush. Now I'm still a bit of a noob when it comes to airbrushing, but I do have fun and I'm not frustrated all the time. If you have any other tricks or tips for me, please let me know in the comments and I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Cheers.